Well, these trainings are vital for folks with disabilities. For example, when an officer pulls them over, they may not know someone has a disability. So these safety cards let an officer know who they are and how to handle the situation. Especially if they're nonverbal, you know, because a lot of times I ask you to do something and you fail to answer me, you know, I might be thinking that you're being defiant. Um, but if you're nonverbal, I might not know that. Training and educating those with special needs. Their challenges, you know, social challenges, their physical challenges, kind of mirror what officers see hey, as sir, suspicious doing? behavior hey, or resistance. The Dell Rogers Training Center is partnering with the Intellectual Developmental Disability Safe for inclusive law enforcement training to teach what to do when encountering an officer and what rights you have. May I come in for a second? With, do you have a warrant? I don't have a warrant. No. Many of our individuals have um, ha live at home or live in a group um, environment, and so their their interactions okay. in um, like the community are rather limited. So when they do have that opportunity to be in the community, we want them to be safe. Retired Lieutenant Stanley Campbell leading the training. Whoop 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 says having close ties to someone with autism, he makes it his mission to educate the community and officers alike. He says the importance is to prevent situations like this one from 2017 when a deaf man, Magil Sanchez, was shot and killed by an officer for not responding to commands. They also need to know, you know, uh, arrest and control situations when they should stop, you know, um, so that it doesn't escalate. Um, it's also it's equally important for the citizens to know to do their part because it's it's a it's a partnership. It's two-sided. If one person de-escalates, the other one does not. It's not de-escalation.